Hello everyone, it's Technic Pacmon. Welcome to the first look at iOS 7. It's Apple's latest iteration of the massively successful iOS franchise, and let's get straight into this. So first we're greeted with an absolutely beautiful slide to unlock display, and if we flick up, we get the iconic camera app, and you can even pull up square photo mode, which I think is kind of funny, because it's uh, an homage to Instagram. You even have filters, which absolutely useless to me. I mean, I could absolutely clear less. Uh, HDR can be turned on with the flick of a button. Everything is just so incredibly simple and gorgeous. And with that said, you can do the same thing with videos. Just press the big red button. So, the lock screen. It's amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous. And if you swipe down, you're met with the lock screen notification center. You have a few options. You have today, you have all, and you have your missed notifications. See, look, I have no missed notifications. I'm very organized, and that's because I have this fantastic um, iPhone. So you can see we have that. Pretty basic, but very, very gorgeous. I mean, everything just looks stunning. I cannot uh, overstate that. And if I swipe up, I'm greeted with this fantastic new control center where I can adjust my volume, change my brightness, which that one, so welcome. I can lock display orientation. I can turn off Bluetooth. I can even turn off uh, Wi-Fi and turn on airplane mode. Airdrop is even a thing where we can be discoverable. And if I say I want to be discoverable to everyone and I open up my Mac on my other screen and go into airdrop you guys can't see it but I'm gonna actually show up on my Mac it's really cool and then airplay works just in the way that you would expect so if I turn on Apple TV mirroring it's gonna take everything that I am doing and it's gonna put it on Apple TV now, obviously, I don't want to do that because that's going to slug things down. Uh, not by much, because this thing is extremely powerful. And then I'm going to turn off AirDrop as well. And then from this bottom here, you have access to a few quick, really useful items. One of which is the flashlight. So that's super simple, but really, really handy. I mean, it's just one of those things that you don't need an external app to do. You can also set up a real quick timer. And come right back to it, pop up your calculator, and even take a photo. So that's the lock screen. And all of your notifications will obviously show up just as you would expect. And uh, if I bring this a little bit closer and focus in a little better, you can see here if this guy doesn't keep turning off on me, there we go, is we have our fantastic uh, bar here at the top, the battery icon has changed, the Wi-Fi indicator, and then the uh, 3G signal indicator has also changed, and then we have this wonderful uh, new font for the clock. So if I slide this open and put it down, Simply by sliding, I'm brought into the application I was in last, but if I go home and lock it, and then unlock it like I'm coming fresh in, we get this absolutely stunning, incredible, gorgeous, fluid, dropping in system animation with these apps. It's, it's incredible.